The content on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only. Please contact a professional when it comes to your financial needs. Becoming proficient in app navigation is going to help you in your journey in trading. We're going to go ahead and focus on how to set up watch lists in the Thinkorswim app and link those items to charts specific to your trading needs right here, right now on the Ujama network. Half the battle is figuring out where everything is. What we're going to do here is clear the initial default workspace and then just add the work list for each of our items. For our example, we're just going to go ahead and look at the uh, left hand menus. That's these here. And we're going to clear all these out. Now, notice the account info is going to stay. That's locked. Now, to clear these out individually, just go down to the settings wheel here on the bottom. You will have a list of everything, including the account info tab. This is the live news, trader TV watch list. These are all important tools, but not for this example. So let's just clear them out, hitting X, 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 and X. Now you can get those default screens back whenever you want to by going to the main setup icon in the upper right hand corner, click that and look for the reset to workspace to default. That'll bring you back to brass tacks. But going forward, we're here to create watch lists. Let's do that. Go down to the plus icon. We're going to add a gadget. The gadget we're adding is watch list. Go ahead and click that. All righty. From your new watch list, let's go ahead and create it by going ahead and clicking on select a watch list and selecting create watch list. Now we're going to be doing crypto, just three crypto in this one and let's call it crypto this is going to be the name of our watch list now let's add our symbols by clicking on the add symbol button first one we're going to do is the futures for bitcoin the symbol for that is slash micro m b t and hit enter that's your micro bitcoin futures let's add one for slash micro xp enter that's your micro XRP futures. And let's add one for slash M E T. Enter. That's your micro Ethereum futures. Um, when they have others like those, we'll go ahead and add them up. But let's just focus on these three here. Click save. And there it is. All three of your micro futures for trading on a Thinkorswim app. And that was the hard part. Now we want to link those individual items in our watch list to their specific charts. And we can do that a number of ways. We want to maybe set up a chart for each one of the items. And then we want to set up one for each different time slot. So let's do that this way. Now, for our example, I'm just going to leave my charts here as far as my watch list, all three of them here. But I want to do two different time frames for each of our items. What do I mean by that? We'll go over here to our charts screen. The layout is going to be two. We're going to have an upper and a lower, a five minute and a 15 or 15 in an hour. So what we're going to do here is just simply click this link button here and let's just call it linked it red do the same for our watch list here red and anytime we link those it'll change to the actual item okay but like i said i want to go ahead and have one for the uh, 15 minute interview as well as a uh hour interval so let's go ahead and get cracking on that um my chart 15 minute here let's leave that at 15 and here again link it to red and instead of the day we're gonna do an hour so whenever you click on an item you get the 15 minute time frame, 
for Ethereum and the one hour time frame for Ethereum. And of course you can just zoom in on a particular time frame and you get your candlesticks. I'm gonna do the same for here. Let's just go like that. And this will give you a nice indicator of what these different jumps in the market is gonna do. So as you're trading, you're getting a indication of what they're looking at and constantly zooming in on a particular time frame so you can see what's happening and identify those trends more readily quick easy to the point tutorials on how to create a watch list and link the watch list to a particular chart now that you know where to find your patterns and how to zoom in Go ahead and get yourself trained to recognize particular patterns so you can maximize your profit margins. I have a poster that I'm selling from this channel. Go ahead and hit that product link and you can support the channel that way. And those are six patterns that are easily recognizable. And by using that top and bottom method of 15 minute or hour, whatever time interval you got, you can go ahead and get a jump and start making informed purchases every time you trade. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.